welcome to Camden Fort Mar, Crosshaven Cork Harbour. This magnificent fort is internationally recognised as being one of the finest remaining examples of a classical coastal artillery fort in the world. It combines a rich British and Irish military history with stunning views of Cork Harbour, creating a, a truly unique visitor experience. Fortifications on this site date back to 1550. For almost 400 years, the fort played an important role as a strong strategic position for the defence of Ireland and the west coast of England and Wales. Most of what we see now was built during the 1860s by British forces and finished around 1871. So here we are standing at a map of Camden Fort Mar, which was originally produced in 1896 by the Royal Engineer, Lieutenant Colonel H. Kirkwood. The fort itself is 45 acres and resources of the fort are 65% underground. One of the most interesting facts about the fort is that it once housed one of only eight installations of the Brennan Torpedo worldwide. The Brennan Torpedo was the world's first practical guided missile. Here we see the casemated billets where up to 240 soldiers would have slept at one time. Some of these billets have been imaginatively reused to house exhibitions, including the timelines of British and Irish history at the fort. One of these billets houses a remarkable photographic exhibition documenting the events of 9-11, and it is in fact the only resident 9-11 exhibition outside of Manhattan, New York. Here we have the remains of a large gunning emplacement that would have housed a heavy mechanical gun which would have had a very long range in it. You can also see the remains of pulley bars that would have enabled the pulling and dragging of heavy guns by many men. The bulk of ammunition and shells relevant to each gunning emplacement would have been kept directly underground in a magazine and store. We are walking up the magazine tunnel now and you can feel the coolness within the air. So here we are in the magazine, which is the biggest chamber in Camden Fort Maher and was once a store for the fort's vast amounts of munitions and were approximately 30 feet underground. As you can hear, the acoustics in here are pretty intense. This is due to the vaulted ceiling, which was designed to support the weight and stress of the parade square, which lies above it. Just adjacent to the magazine is the magnificent granite spiral stairway. It was built purely for functional purposes, to give rapid access for soldiers to the munitions store in the magazine in case of attack. Here we are inside the bright tunnel and we were looking down what is 197 steps. The tunnel brings you from the top of the site right down 160 feet to the bottom where there is a stretch of gunning emplacements. This long building was originally the officers and sergeants mess and they would have enjoyed much more luxury in comparison to the soldiers quarters. It has now been renamed the tea rooms and operates as a cafe serving local produce. So it's a great place to stop and relax after exploring the fort. The decking area of the tea rooms has some of the best views from the fort. To the far right you can see Roaches Point which was the last landmark that many immigrants passed before they left Ireland. Across the harbour you can see Fort Davis Moving across, you can see Spike Island and Cove. In fact, you can see all the way to the Irish naval base in Hobolan, and to the left of that is Ring Skiddy. If you are lucky enough to be here when a cruise line or a ship passes, it's a very beautiful sight indeed. In 1989, the Irish Army handed the fort over to the local authority, Cork County Council. Despite best efforts to restore the fort as a tourism site, it became overgrown for almost two decades. It's hard to imagine that in 2010, community volunteers had to cut their way into Camden Fort Maher. The scale of restoration work since then has been remarkable, and it is a testimony to the spirit and hard work of the whole project team. Financial and logistical support from the local authority, Cork County Council, has been crucial to the development of the project. Worker placement schemes from FOSS and CCAD have also added to the project's success. History, Heritage, memory, a great experience. This is Camden Fort Mar.